So what's up guys? As you may or may not have heard, Nick Cannon had a vasectomy consultation because he currently has four babies on the way. And I've seen this story on a number of different outlets, but I'm telling you this story from the Sandra Rose blog and he has already had so many children. And to have four babies at the same time on the way I don't, I don't know what is in his brain to make him think that one, so what, he's rich. No one person has that much time to spend with all of these children, especially when they are, they are in different households. And the story says that child experts say fathers play the most important role in their children's formative years. And if you didn't know that already, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but it definitely does play a role when the father is not around. And so for people to make the excuse for Nick Cannon to say, well, he's got money. It's always that Papa was a rolling stone. You know, he can have kids all over the world, but when that woman, I think they called her the Octomom, she already had some kids and then she was pregnant with either eight or nine children at the same time. Even though we know she was not rich, but most people who have a lot of kids like that aren't, she was slammed for having all of these kids. And we don't know who all of the, the fathers were. I believe with that situation, it was either in vitro or artificial insemination. I can't remember, it happened many years ago. But she went viral for it because people were trying to understand why would this woman be having all of these kids? And that stigma is put on women when they have a multitude of children, especially when they have a multitude of children with different fathers. That's always gonna be the case. And I don't disagree with people that feel that the woman has an obligation because that's how I feel. You're the one that has to carry the child for nine months or however long you take that child to term. And after that, whether the father is around or not and you don't give the child up for adoption, you are responsible for taking care of that child and you will always have a child no matter how old they are. Yes, you don't want them to be dependent on you for the rest of your life, but that father may not be around. And Nick Cannon, no matter how many dollars he has in the bank and how many jobs he has, there's only so much he can do. And then not, not only that, the pressure mounts on him because just because you have that amount of money today, it only takes one event to happen in your life that could cause all of those streams of revenue to dry up. And he learned that a few years back when he was almost canceled and he tucked his tail in between his legs and he apologized to the Jewish community because he made some statements that they said were anti-Semitic and they wanted to cancel him. And he was to the point of feeling like he didn't wanna be alive anymore. Did he go through with it? No, he didn't. But now he's turned around and he's having all of these kids with all of these different people. It is absolutely insane. And one of those babies died. His five-month-old son, Zen, passed away in December. And so it's really insane that people make excuses for this, for this guy and just say that, oh, well, he's got money. He's good. It's not okay to be having all of these kids with all of these women and then all of these chicks, they just want this consistent check to come in every month. So they don't mind having a child with him because it's at least 18 years of guaranteed money. And when I say guaranteed, that's the scary part of it. Nothing in life is guaranteed and all it takes is one thing for him 
to do or say or happen in his life that could cause all of those streams of revenue to dry up. And from what I've heard, he has an autoimmune disease. There's no guarantee how much longer he has here on this earth. N tomorrow's not guaranteed to anyone. Of course, we know that. But not having that father in these children's lives on a regular consistent basis, it is damaging. It is. And then there may be some children that will be resentful because they are feel like, oh, well, he spent more time with my brothers and sisters than he did with me. We already know that resentment happens even with children who are in the same household. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that story. I've even experienced it where a sibling that I had felt jealous because they felt like I was the favorite. And it's so stupid. And it's like, dude, you're older than me. Like, what, what did you want? You want... <laughs> you want my mom to neglect me over you when I I need to get my pampers changed and get my bottle like I mean it's <laughs> it's so stupid but it, it does happen even in the same household so I can't even imagine with the different households but he felt the need to let us know that he had a vasectomy consultation too much information we already know too much at this point but if you want to share some information and maybe share that look I've had it snipped I can't have any more kids, so you will not be getting any more stories about me having any more children. So if anyone else comes out and says that they're pregnant by me, it either happened before the snip happened and they didn't let me know prior or they're lying. <laughs> so you guys let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Do you feel that he's going to go forward with the vasectomy? And do you feel him even sharing that he had a vasectomy consultation was even necessary, especially if he's not even going to move forward with it? Because... At this point, I believe Mariah is just like, what was I thinking? Why did I get married to this guy? And why did I have all of these kids with him? She doesn't need him. But now her children has all of these siblings out here that she didn't plan for. And, and this is just crazy. It's just not fair to the children, most importantly. So you guys let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section. And yeah. I, I think he really, really needs some therapy. And speaking of multiple children being fathered outside of a relationship, Flavor Flav. Now, this story comes from Complex Magazine, and, and it says that he has now had it confirmed that he is the father of a three-year-old boy after paternity tests. So according to TMZ, 63-year-old Flavor Flav <laughs> is the father of a three-year-old boy named Jordan. So Flav had some initial doubts about the child's paternity, but that all changed after he took a DNA test that confirmed the toddler was, in fact, his kid. Jordan's mother is reportedly Flav's former manager, Kate Gamble. So the fact that he would deny, not saying that he would just immediately know that the child is his if he was not in a relationship with this person but you knew you had sex with her so you knew that the possibility definitely was there for so for him to just outright in the beginning deny the child just say okay it's a possibility but I need to just get confirmation before I will accept it because it can happen that she may have been with somebody else and the child was not his and he would be excluded from being the father of the child. But the woman's parents tell TMZ that their daughter is no longer working for Flav, but the two seem to be on good terms. The former couple have reached a child support and custody agreement and have filed legal documents to change Jordan's last name from Gamel to Drayton the latter of which is Flav's government surname. Shortly after Jordan was born, Gamble filed a paternity suit against Flav, who agreed to take a DNA test. According to Hip Hop DX, the results confirmed the rapper was the boy's father. However, Gamble said Flav rejected the findings and cut off all communication with her. And I'm sorry, I'm not laughing because it's funny because it's not funny. But I was just saying that he could have just said, look, okay, maybe it's a possibility, but I just need to get proof and confirmation. But after he got the findings, then he cut off all communication from her and rejected the findings. So I don't know. Was it like some at-home paternity test that she did? That he, That's why he 
was like, uh, no, I'm not buying it. I, I don't know. So she told the outlet she struggled to financially support her child, prompting her to sell merch for extra income. She says, when I told him I was pregnant with his child, Flavor let me go. And so he fired her. <laughs> fired her for becoming pregnant, but you screwed her while she was employed. Anyway, I, I would say that would be grounds for some sort of wrongful termination lawsuit. But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's worth going after for, you know, for that in court. Anyway. <laughs> She said she was left with thousands of dollars of Flavor Flav merch and that she had purchased it with her own money. So to make money, she sold the the goods and and used it for his everyday needs. So she says, so I decided to pull out the merch and sell it to help my son and give a percentage to Children's Hospital. I doubt I will recoup the money that I put into this, but I don't care, as any money towards Jordan's needs is important. The support for Jordan has been fantastic so far. So it's crazy that now he is confirmed 100% that this is his child. Now he wants to give the child his last name, and now he's uh, confirming it. And so now he's got eight kids at the age of 63. It's crazy to hear a story like this, but he hasn't proven to be the most responsible, <laughs> upstanding figure in society. So it's not a shocking story, but it is kind of crazy that he fired her after she told him that she was pregnant and he knew he slept with her. And then the first paternity confirmation he rejected it and fired her and then now it's confirmed now he's going to claim the child and give the child his last name i don't know all of these babies out here all of these wild oats being sown all of these seeds being spread babies all over the place and then you're 63 years old i don't know how much longer he's going to live i mean he very well could live to be 95 i don't know i'm just saying it's crazy all of these stories about these men having babies everywhere but if a woman were to do that then she's just trash she is irresponsible and yeah they both have a role to play in this absolutely but women they just have to definitely be more thoughtful and responsible with who they are having sexual relations with because I don't understand that. I don't operate in that way. I know a lot of people don't operate in that way, but in society, the way things are talked about, people make it seem like this is normal behavior and it really isn't. It really isn't normal behavior to act like a dog in heat and to just screw anyone and everyone just because you're feeling an urge. We are human beings. We are adults. We're supposed to be adults. Even children don't act in that way because it's just not a child-like behavior to have sex. It's adults that do that. Children should not be doing that. And I'm just saying to sleep around with people and then you're having kids everywhere and then you want to deny the child in the beginning. But once you get full and final confirmation, now you want to get on social media and do an Instagram post and say how proud you are of all of the children that you have. I, I don't buy it but you all can let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section it's crazy um but you know do what you do hopefully you know you love your children take care of them without having to be forced to do so and don't have any more <laughs> but anyway you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section